Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Siddharth Hazra. I am an SD at Geeks for Geeks. Besides that, I am also a candidate master and an ACM ICPC regionalist. So let us discuss the problem. Does array represent heap or not? So before we dig into this problem, let us first understand what is a max heap. A tree max heap is nothing but a complete tree. Okay, it is a complete tree. And what is a complete tree in which all the levels are complete and the last completion of the last level is optional and the Levels should be on this side. This is not at all important. The main important property of this is the parent should be greater than its children. Okay, parent's value is greater than its left child and parent's value is greater than the right child. Okay, and this should be respected by all the nodes. For example, if we just see up this max heap, then 15, 10, 7, 12, and 2. You would observe that this is respected, that 90 is greater than 15 and 10. Then 15 is greater than 7 and 12. Then 10 is greater than 2. So this is respected. Now, what is representing now to solve up this problem we need to learn how to represent this max heap in array let's first understand it then we can do the vice versa which is asked in this problem so what i would say is the parents index should be the value that is there so parent should be i the left child, the left child should be 2i and the right child should be 2i plus 1. What do I meant by this? I meant by enumerating this. Like if I enumerate this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you see that this nodes left child is multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 this nodes left child is multiplied by 2 that is 2 multiplied by 2 and right child is 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 so if we just convert this in an array it would be something like this we have got the index it would be 90 15 10 7 12 and 2. This is the given array. So now to check if this array represents a max heap or not, we just need to check what? We just need to check something like this. We need to check if 2i is less than a of i. a of 2i is less than this and a of 2i plus 1 is less than a of i. These are the two things that we need to confirm. And because this array is zero indexed, so we would just subtract one index from every one. And we would just iterate this. So now let us just implement this. So we are given an array a. We just need to check. So let's iterate over the array. Okay, for all the index, let us just check. For int i is equals to 0, i is less than n and i plus plus. Let's just check for all the nodes if its children obey them or not. So we would say int i and d is equals to i plus 1. We would get the i th 1 index. Okay, and now I would say if the value of the left child, if a of i and d multiplied by 2 is less than a of i it should be less so the opposite one should be if it is greater than if there is a null and void condition if a of i if a of i and d this is the new index or 
if the left child if the left child and right child both should respect if either of them is not respecting it then it's a null condition so i would say if i and d multiplied by 2 plus 1 if it is also greater than a of i and d okay then i would say return a false from winner else if you are not able to find either of them return a true but i said array is zero index so we need to subtract one from every one just subtract one from every one we don't need to pay attention to anything just subtract one to every one we'll just compile and see how many errors are we making seems like no error is being made that's it for today thank you and have a nice day